Alrighty guys, I am coming to this a tad late. We are gonna have Vice City versus Velocity Gaming here. Let me make sure I get my volume set correctly. Uh, so in for Vice City, let me go ahead and pull up this. Oh, that's not the scoreboard. Let me go ahead and pull up the scoreboard real quick. Uh, so in for Vice City, we're gonna see Squawk, Lumio, and Fair. Uh, fun fact, this is one of Lumio's first games, or no, I shouldn't say first, this is one of his first ten games in the league, even though he's been here for two seasons. Um, anyway though, in for Velocity Gaming, you're going to see Fly So Low, Tayfish, and One and Done. Tayfish and One and Done, kind of steadfast names for Velocity Gaming, we've seen them since last season now. Uh, they've been partnered pretty well, and Fly So Low being the new acquisition to the team. Uh, one of their draft picks. Uh, we'll see how well it all plays together. And again, we are in week three of season four. We have come quite a long way, guys, and we're not going to stop anytime soon. But we have made it to season four, which has been a fucking journey, to say the least. Uh, going in, though, we have, what is it, Vice City up by one right now with about two minutes and 20 seconds left to play. So game's about half over. It is a best of five series. Ooh, one and done kind of sets it up for them. You're going to see a bit of a double commit from him and Vice City. And then Squawk's going to get bumped out by Lumio. Oh, hey, no squeaky toy. No squeaky toy. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry. I love you. A little bit of a touch here. We see the demo. One and done's going to demo Lumio. Ball's just going to bounce around their goal. A uh, bit of a missed opportunity. You don't know if Lumio is supposed to follow up there or not. The demo might have got to him. Then we see Fair trying to do a little bit of a, I guess, pinch or like set off the wall. Like a double touch maybe? I'm not sure. But it didn't actually work out for him. He loses the ball there. But Squawk is back uh, to keep the ball in play off the clear. Uh, they are actually going to successfully clear it out. I believe that was Fly So Low that took it all the way across. And now we see the fast break coming back against them. And Squawk misses a wide open goal. That could come back to haunt them. With a minute and 20 left to play. All Velocity Gaming has got to do right now is... Woo! Fire missing a goal there as well. All they've got to do is put a point up, man. That's all, And like all of a sudden, I feel like momentum heavily goes in their favor. Fly so low, just... I don't even know. Air dribble? Aerial dribbling the ball across? I, I don't even know if that's the proper term. Ball is set. Fly solo looking to pin, uh, get a double touch right there. He unfortunately doesn't get it. We see Tayfish go up for the challenge. It's going to get cleared out by Squawk. And Squawk's going to get kind of a makeshift pinch off of Lumio. Uh, doesn't really work out for them. We see the challenge from Fire and Tayfish. It's going to go in favor of Velocity Gaming in the moment. But Vice City is going to clear it off to their side. And with under 30 seconds left to play now, uh, Velocity Gaming hoping to put a point up. They need a goal. Bump that out of the way. Wow, I did not expect the ball to be going that way. And fire with a wide open goal here. And Vice City is going to go up 2-0 in game one. And this should be game. I mean, there's 11 seconds, so you never know what can happen. I mean, really, it, it's anything can happen. It's unlikely, though, personally, that uh, you see a comeback with 11 seconds on the board. Ball still in the air. And, wow, Vice City able to capitalize with no time on the clock. Uh, Lumio is going to take a pass from, was it Fire? It was Fire. One and done so close. Uh, if he had got just a tad bit higher, that, sh that probably would have been an easy save for him. And Vice City is going to take game one of a best of five series. Week three, season four, Velocity Gaming versus Vice City. I'm just going to keep repeating that over and over and over because, you know, why not? <sighs> Let me get a seat down right here.
All right, let's see. Don't touch my controller. So everybody just come up oh, here. We go. Let's just say they might be calling for a new lobby, but I don't believe so. And here we go in the game two. Let me get the whiteboard out. VC versus VG. And a wide open goal there for Squawk. Ball just sits there. I'm surprised nobody was there to defend that. And tip off going in favor of Velocity Gaming. Here comes one and done. Kind of a little too far there. I think he was maybe hoping to pass it to fly so low. Uh, but it just ended up going too far. And fire is on fire. Was that three demos? Was that three demo? <clears throat> As I lose my voice right there. Holy shit. I'm like all the way over by my chat right now. Yo, shout out to you, Golden Lion, for the follow. It helps tremendously. Uh, the more support we can get, the better. Whether it's follows, subs, likes, whatever it is. Making clips of, of games or stuff you see. We got tons of videos on here to make clips from. Um, yeah. Thanks so much. So if I'm Velocity Gaming, man, the last thing I want is to go through this entire series without scoring a goal. And that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this game. Uh, at least from game one and then so far how game two started out is... Are they actually going to be able to capitalize and score a goal to begin with? Or are they just going to kind of falter off? We've seen uh, Vice City control the game for the most part. Velocity doing their best right now to try to get something going. They're actually going to have that goal right here as I say that. So I think it gave Fly so low the solo goal. I'm not sure if he had a teammate. I thought Tayfish went up and touched it. But I think it might have been Lumio that actually touched it on his own side and set it up. Fly so low wins tip off right here. Squawk's going to have a bit of a mishap when he goes for the clear. Fly so low into the corner. Ball's up. And it's cleared up by fire. Oh, no, it's not cleared up by fire. It's challenged now. It's just bouncing in front of the goal. Ooh, and Tayfish tries, unable to actually get a good touch, and now we see Fly so low, showing off some mechanics. He's just going to steal the ball. He's got possession. Goes to set it up off the wall. Looking for a teammate, maybe? Nope. Good clear out from Lumio. He actually gets a save. Uh, Game said that was going to be a shot. And now, all of a sudden, Fire sent this ball all the way across the field. And Fly so low is already back there. He's going to get bumped around a little bit right here. You see Tayfish going to try to prevent any serious setup. He's, ooh, good play there. He was patient. He waited. He knew the ball was going to come back towards the goal. And Lumio just going straight up. Misses his opportunity right there. And good challenge from Squawk because that was probably going to be a goal for one and done. Ooh, and Tayfish getting the steal here. Ball is actually going perfectly around goal. It's set. Ooh. What an ugly touch, man. It was set. The, the play was there. I don't know what he was doing. And he just kind of helped, helped out Vice City. Cleared the ball out. We see the challenge. Tayfish going up. Fires there. Uh, it's actually going to go in favor of Velocity Gaming there. And then fly so low. Or is that? No, that's one and done. Able to get the shot. It's just too high as he got past Squawk, I believe. And then fly so low with, the sh with a pass to Tayfish. I'm so confused. There was three shots there. I, I, don't, I don't know. I think it counted Fly So Low's pass as a shot, and then Tayfish shooting it as well counted as a shot. I'm not sure. 
But big shout out to Fly So Low. Uh, I didn't get to see if he... Actually, I probably did get to see. I just don't know off the top of my head. Uh, if he was in the their week one or week two games. But if not, I mean, this seems to be the game for him. Even if he was, this definitely seems to be the game that he's showing out a little bit more. He's definitely the face of the team, I'd say, uh, just off of this series. Um, we'll see, though. I'd like to see him take control and get a W. That's what I'd like to see. I mean, that's what everybody wants to see. But specifically, that's what I'd like to see from Fly Solo. Him take control and get the W. I think he's the big money player for the team. And Squawk gets past one. He's going to pop it up a little bit there. I don't know if that was supposed to be a fake or I don't know what he was going for. And Fly Solo is just going to flick it up in the air. It's going to bounce off the back. Oh, and a wide open goal. Tapefish is going to capitalize off of Fly Solo's pass. And Velocity Gaming's up. Good follow up from Tayfish. Uh, honestly, a little, little late, a little delayed there. I think if he would have come a little bit faster, obviously they get the goal anyway, but definitely probably would have been a little bit faster, especially how long that ball was floating in the air. And now all Velocity Gaming's got to do is play some solid defense here in the last, what, 10 seconds of the game. Squawk tries to pass to Lumio. Lumio is not going to connect. Fire is going to send the ball towards the goal. Tayfish is going to clear it out. It gets sent back towards goal and fly so low. He's like, I'm not losing this lead. I helped establish this lead. We're not losing it. He gets to save there, and Velocity Gaming is going to take game two. Series now tied 1-1. One one. Ooh, ooh. I see you, Panther. How do I have two different markers? Holy shit. I got a whiteboard that we keep a track of everything on, and I couldn't find one marker. Now I got two markers somehow. Everything's in green and black. It looks a little weird. Like I'm trying to do some type of art style or something. Yeah, big game. Big game for Fly Solo. Even though he's not the top rated player as far as score goes on the team, this game was all him. You see the, sh the goal, the save, the assist, five shots. Like this man was doing it. And getting ready here for game three. Yeah, I don't know what that last second leave was. <laughs> Panther said they better win. I don't know, man. I think there's a. I think Vice City might have slept on Velocity Gaming a little bit. They're saying it's a free win. Uh, this, that, and the third, and. I mean, you gotta actually show up when you when you make statements like that. When you go to play games, you gotta show up. And Tayfish just sends it across the goal. Fly so low on the other side. They're not gonna get anything off of it. Ooh, one and done might get the goal. He takes a shot. It's gonna bounce. It's not gonna go, but he's gonna get the follow-up. Squawk with the save tries to clear it out. Just gets kind of a weak saver right here. One and done takes a shot. Lumio's going to miss. You see Squawk with the save there. Coming back down. Just not able to get in a good position. And one and done capitalizing there. I feel like if anything, Velocity Gaming's been a bit more patient with some of their plays. You see, you say that. Like, and I, I mean, to some extent, maybe for like one team or the other. I, I could kind of see it that it, you could say it's a free win and fly so low gets to go here and velocity gaming is now at 2-0 in the first minute of play um so my here's my issue you have lumio who's not very active uh in the league to begin with so i don't know how his chemistry works with his teammates or how he handles playing on stream in the comp scene to some extent uh you have squawk who's a eu player who has all the skills, but because of the time frame, it makes it a little bit harder for him to get on the practice with the team. I am sure he does what he can, but it, it, it's difficult being on, in a different time zone. You know, like uh, game time, like I think right now, uh, it's probably like one or two in the morning, maybe three in the morning for him. Like that's rough. You're not going to play your best games at three in the morning usually. And then, why do I feel like there's only two people here? There was only two people here. Lumio DC? 
No, I don't know. I don't know what just happened right there. Lumio, Squawk. Is some, did somebody leave? I felt like somebody left. Fire. Fire DC'd and then rejoined all in one go. So props to him. Uh, but he's really the big money man for Vice City. has got to be fire. Uh, and, you know, I don't know how well their chemistry together is actually going to play. Tayfish has been here essentially since season one. Uh, you know, he was a, became a captain in season two to three. And Tayfish also has finals experience playing against Ronska and RGB. So there's just a, I feel like there's a bit more experience and there's a bit more chemistry right now coming from Velocity Gaming than Vice City. Even though Vice City might have the rank advantage a little bit here, uh, it's, it's not showing up. At least in game three, it's not showing up. Panther said, I'm going to go coach him. I mean, uh, it, it might help him. Fly so low, looks to get a goal here. It's going to get saved by Lumia. One and done. Oh, where's the teammate? Where's the teammate? Come on. Ball was per That was a wide open goal. If somebody was there to follow up, that was just a, that was a free goal right there. Ooh, good touch there from Lumia, preventing a serious clear out. Good challenge from Fly so low. He's going to prevent them from actually getting a drive going. Tayfish is going to get bumped there by Squawk. Lumio is going to send it back towards goal. Here comes Fly Solo off the back of the wall. I was going to say backboard, but I don't think he came off the backboard. And I was going to say wall, but, you know, I feel like that's still not the proper term. Ooh, Tayfish trying to get it past Fire. Fire's going to go up and challenge. Good challenge from him. Fly Solo looking to make the goal, but his shot's going to be too high. And now the Vice City looking for the fast break, but they're not going to get it. Fly Solo with the demo on Squawk. Is it, it's one, no, it's Tayfish. I was so confused when we actually got that goal there. And Velocity Gaming just pub stomping Vice City right now. Ball's in the air, flying low goes up, he clears it across. Not gonna give them any chance at all. About a minute left to play here in game three. Balls off the backboard. Fly solo goes into the challenge. One and done comes off the wall, sets it up for a teammate. Nobody's there, so he pretty much just gives it to Vice City to clear out. Here goes Squawk with an interesting touch. Lumio back waiting. We see the pass to the pass to the, an attempted shot. And it's just not going to go their way. Lumio's going to pinch it off the wall here. And Fire's going to try to capitalize here and get a goal. He's unable to get it, though, as he just loses slight possession of the ball. Squawk's back waiting. And I think that was Tayfish that came across and touched it. Uh, prevents any kind of drive from actually coming out of it. We see Fire with a long shot here, though. And finally, they're able to connect. Uh, Fire's going to get the assist as Lumio is going to capitalize here. Right off of Fly So Low, essentially. And they have 14 seconds left to play in game three. I'd have to say this is probably going to Velocity Gaming no problem. Yo, Panther, I feel you on that. I, I, I know the topic already got brought up beforehand with like the EU time zone difference. But it makes it genuinely seriously affects the game and that is rough for fire as it looks like he left the match before it finished this is the second week in a row now where we've had a, a player leave one of the games before the match officially finishes so your stats don't get recorded so it makes you look worse or maybe maybe you're you're keeping your stats up who knows but it just is not a good look it is not a good look at all Let me mark this down. 
velocity game and probably gonna like turn on the heat right here and try to end the game in game four. Uh, so Panda, unfortunately, I can't have you as a sub for other teams. Um, what's actually the topic that got brought up that I've been lightly talking with some of the admins about was the possibility of opening up an EU uh, portion of G. Just because I know we try to welcome everybody we can into the league, regardless of time zone. Um, but it is rough. It's really hard. It's already hard enough for West Coast and East Coast players to match up. I can't imagine like West Coast and EU matching up. So we'll see. Uh, in the coming weeks, I want to say if anything gets changed or what announcements are made towards that. But it's definitely in consideration. Alright here, so where am I? Game four? I'm sorry guys, I didn't answer our text there. I sound I probably sound so congested too. But uh we're here in game four. Uh two one in favor of Velocity Gaming. And what is a surprise upset or it looks like it's gonna be a surprise upset as Tayfish is gonna get a goal here with a pass and fly so low. I'm not sure what is happening in the Vice City right now, but they are falling apart, man. And one and done is going to win tip off right here. He's going to try to turn it to a goal, and he does right off a tip off. Again, and within the first minute of play, Velocity Gaming is up 2 0 in Vice City, just like last game. And I think this is a big problem for teams. Uh, I, I, Tayfish aside specifically, I feel like it's really hard for teams to play from behind and play fast to some extent. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Because I, I just don't play at all the high levels of fucking Rocket League. I don't play any of the high levels. It actually contains that much right there. But I just feel like it's a the gate, your game plan changes just a bit when you're behind versus when you're ahead. And going down 2-0 in the first... Now, maybe to some people, I will say this. Maybe to some people it's not as negative because there's so much time on the clock. But I just feel like, you know, it affects my approach to everything. Oh, and Fire's going to get a goal here. Just dribbles it in. Nobody able to stop him. And this is what they needed, now only down by one. But what I was also going to lead into is we saw Velocity Gaming in the conference finals. I believe it was David Park Park that cast that game with me. And we highlighted how they did well when they didn't have to score goals. If they got up a, a, a goal or two goals, they, they had a better chance of winning games. But whenever they went down a goal, they just couldn't recover. They couldn't, like, they could not do anything. So as long as they scored their first goal or two goals and held on to the lead... Uh, they won their games. Like, obviously holding on to the lead, you're going to win your games. But as long as they just held on to the lead, uh, they looked good. But every single time they'd fall behind by a goal, they struggled. Ooh, fly so low with a very risky maneuver there. He's going to get the save, though. He honestly probably could have owned gold off of uh, the bounce off of one and done. Oh, one and done. He's going to flick it, but Tate was it fly so low is not looking. He, he was going back for boost. And that was a free goal, or maybe not a free goal, but a high percentage goal that's just not going to go their way. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh, Tayfish! And one of Dunn's going to capitalize, and they're going to get the goal here with a pass from Tayfish. He's just going to get past on his challenge. And he's just going to put the ball up on the wall. Fire's going to miss his touch there. Vice is in. Vice unable to get his touch, and that's going to be a goal. I actually didn't even see Vice come in, so that's a knock on me right there. Let me pull up stats real quick. Yeah, Vice is in for, was that Squawk that's out? Yeah. Now, that could have been a lag issue with him being EU. It could be a time zone issue with him just being tired. He's like, yo, like, I'm exhausted, man. I'm doing my best, but I am exhausted. And the shot's just too high from fire. Ah. Oh. So I'm not too sure why they pull him out, but I definitely would have kept him in. I felt like he brought a 
a good pace to your team. Although fire definitely brings some serious speed as well. And Lumio is just going to get bumped out of the way by Fly Solo. And they're going to try to clear the ball out of the corner. Fire is going to take it all the way across. And he's going to get the goal. The fast break goals have been his strength, it seems. Have been the strength for Vice City right now. Panther said, I'm disowning them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yo, no way. And the ball set. Ah, oh, rough touch there from, I think it was Tayfish that went up. Uh, he had a goal. I don't know what happened. I didn't get to see it from his angle, unfortunate. All Vice City needs is a goal, man. Come on. They're supposed to be like a high-powered scoring team. Uh, and like you see this right here. There is no way they're about to let this man get this goal. Okay, thank goodness. I was like, there is actually no way that this man is just about to dribble past two people. And Velocity Gaming actually missed that opportunity for a goal. And with 40 seconds left to play, Vice City is running out of time. They don't get a goal fast. This is a series. Read me, J, J Meister, J Meister, read me. Hmm. Well, I read you. Fly so low, goes up. Ooh, this is what they need. Lumio's going to have an opportunity here, and he's going to capitalize. He gets the goal with six seconds left. And we have a good chance of going to overtime here. Yo, I read you. Now you should sub to me. Haha. -ha. Wink, wink. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ball is in the air and down. Here we go into overtime in game four. This is Velocity's game to put away. And they're going to put it away off a tip-off. Wow. Right off of tip-off. My goodness. And Velocity Gaming is going to take the W. And yet again, somebody from Vice City left before the match ended. So they will not have stats. I will tell you this, guys. One thing that's going to suck is not having team stats showing up like that. Uh, so part of the formula creates a, a team rating as well as a player rating. And you're missing stats. Your numbers are going to look worse. Uh, you're losing games. You don't have all of your player stats included. All that stuff is going to affect your ratings, which do not look well. Uh, and then outside of that, after this season, there's a there's a possible chance that, you know, after seeing how people just leave games either from raging or whatever, players might, or captains, I dare say, might be like, yo, I don't want to sign this guy. Players might be like, I don't want to play with this guy. He's just going to rage out if we're behind. And you just can't do that. Um, so that's going to be all I have for the CGRL Season 4, Week 3 today. I'll have more games in the following uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then at 10 p.m. tonight, I have Round 2, uh, a.k.a. the Conference Finals of the CGSL, where we're going to see... Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so blanky. We're going to see Team versus OPE. Uh, this is the OPE, same OPE from Rock League. Obviously different players, just same, same general organization, same franchise. And then we're going to see Team 
which is rumored to be making a appearance in Rocket League with the team as well. We'll see how that happens in the off season. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Tune in 10 p.m. for that uh, round two playoff game. Tomorrow I'll have Davies Delinquents versus the Lords. And lastly, Sunday I will have the winner of tonight's game and the winner of tomorrow's game facing off in the Cleety Cup Finals for the CGSL Season 1. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Want to show some support? Give me a sub. Give me a like. Give me a follow. I got the Twitch link. We got, we got a lot. And enjoy the rest of your night.